it's very advanced topics and you know we're going to see start to see more of this down in the next few years but why should this matter to you know isaka constituency well and it, viewers? it should matter because trust me this is not a topic kevin and the rest of you for 30 years from today or 50 years from today i call it the future of now but i call it the future of now certainly not not in a not in you know one year or two the impact on encryption and I'm very serious on that. The impact on the way we create secret and keep secrets is gonna change. Because all of the encryption methodologies that we know, and listen, that we still teach in the university today, RSA encryption, Diffie-Hellman encryption, elliptic curve, any encryption, which is great, is the way we hide things, is based on the impossibility, or let me, let me call it the difficulty of factorizing large prime numbers of solving a very complex problem in maths that is factorizing large prime numbers the thing is that with shore's algorithm in uh, uh, 1994 shore a scientist discovered or coined the algorithm to factorize large prime numbers the problem is ladies and gentlemen that, that we don't have still today enough computing power to run Shor's algorithm from 1994 in an effective and an efficient way. When quantum computing gets to around 10,000 qubits, that unit of power that I just mentioned before, when we get to around 10,000 qubits, we are today around 2,000-ish, 2,500, so there's still a way to go. But when we get to 10,000 qubits, we, could run Shor's algorithm in an effective and an efficient way. And that means, and I'm looking straight into the camera when I'm saying this, that potentially means that any encryption known by humans today could be broken. Any secret, I mean, nuclear codes or energy plans, department of defense strategies, and that's, that's a new world. That's a world with no secrets. Of course, the question is, and for ISACA members, again, that, that are, that are uh, gathering with us today, is that, but there has to be a solution, Ramses, right? Or Kevin, I mean, I mean you have, there's a solution for that. Well, yes and no. The world is working, and specifically the NIST, the National Institute for Standards and Technology, is working on a post-quantum uh, 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 cryptography, so a cryptography that is resistant to quantum attacks. That's the yes part of my answer. The no is, is not yet a reality. It's just on white paper. It's working on that. So, so interesting uh, things on this emerging technology, Kevin, and, and the rest of you on, on quantum technology and computers. And listen, and how it will change forever the way of cybersecurity, privacy, encryption, and etc.